Florida's newest and best in radio, Sunshine Radio 96.7 FM. Hello there, this is Keith, the boss of the beach, coming to you. And of course, we have had a wonderful week here, but we want to say thank you for tuning in. And we're going to be talking about a lot of information for veterans. So stay tuned for more, and we're going to let you know what it is. Now, rise and shine. Rise and shine to Sunshine Radio 96.7, Saturday mornings. This is Voice for Veterans and the rest of us who say we support veterans too. News, commentary, information, education, music, and entertainment. New just for you, 96.7. Now, you've heard the rest. Stay tuned for the best. Rise and shine to Sunshine Radio and stay with us all day long. Going on into the interview next. Well, hello there. This is Keith, the boss of the beach. And of course, we're at 96.7 Sunshine Radio. Good morning. And don't forget to rise and shine with us, WVETOnlineRadio.com and the rest of us. Please, I want you to go to WVETOnlineRadio.com. And I want you to look at the resource page. And when you leave the resource page, then I want you to go to WVET Latin. Between those two as veterans, you'll be able to hear a lot of things that you want to hear. And you'll be able to enjoy a Latin sound in America. Of course, we're stationed right here in Florida. So you can enjoy it. But if you're in Southern California, you can enjoy it. If you're in Texas, Arizona, you can enjoy it. If you're in Chicago, you can enjoy it. WVET online radio is everywhere. And if you tune in to the new Sunshine Radio, we're everywhere too. Join us, Sunshine Radio 96 FM, and enjoy the day. Today's show is going to be something about the 4th of July coming. It just so happens that my birthday is the 8th of July. So when I get to the 4th, I start partying then. And I carry it all the way to the night. It makes sense for me, all American. Guess what? A lot of things are going on this summer that didn't go last summer because of the COVID stand down. And I use the word stand down because that's what we all had to do. Stand down for America. COVID didn't win. We won. And as we celebrate the 4th of July, remember, there are some veterans the 4th of July, even though it's good in their heart, because of PTSD, popping firecrackers, making a lot of noise, may cause a little bit of concern. Be cognizant of that. If you happen to have a veteran in the home who has a little PTSD, make sure that you can work with them on your fun activities for that day. Stay tuned a little bit later. We're going to run a segment about that so that you got a little bit more knowledge. And let the kids know why the uncle or the daddy may want to stay in the house while they're doing the firecracker so that they can respect that position. We care about all of our veterans, no matter what condition they're in. And we want them to know that we care. And we're going to make a difference. The second thing is we just finished going through Memorial Day. We know that you might have a few flags left over. Please bring them back out for the fourth. If you got rid of all of them, go get a couple more. Please, let's make sure that our veterans and the rest of the veterans, and I mean those who support veterans, I mean those that are called brats, those are the children of veterans, sidekicks, those are the people who stood and said, I'm your friend no matter what. You could have been in the bunker with them, or you could have been standing at the church when they got married. That's a sidekick. We want you to respect those because they have turned up the heat and said, what the VA don't do, call the sidekicks, we'll figure it out. And go play tribute to any of our veterans' hospitals. A hospital, the two reasons that we visit hospitals and schools, you are the motivation for a young student. Parents who don't visit their schools and stand behind their children, they lose. Parents and family and friends who don't go to a hospital on the 4th of July, They lose. The veteran will have somebody, but it's different when you come. Somebody that they don't know who stood there because you've got to remember a veteran fought a battle 
win, lose, or draw for people he didn't know. So I'm telling you, if you don't know any veteran, that's the main person that should go and learn something about what we are giving. Veterans across America get to be the mainstay of the 4th of July. 4th of July across America is for everybody. We just finished Juneteenth Day, which is noted now as a national holiday. It does not replace the 4th of July. Don't ever forget that. It's just another day that we can celebrate some of the freedoms that came to this great country. If you're in Los Angeles, you celebrate Cinco de Mayo. We now do it in Miami. You do it in Texas. You do it all over the country. It took years for us all Americans to understand what Cinco de Mayo meant. Now we do. And if you don't, go party. We do know about one of my favorite holidays. Guess what? They all support veterans. You know it came out of Chicago with the Green Rivers. And you know what it is. St. Patrick's Day. There's a lot of veterans who stand there at St. Patrick's Day. So our holidays belong to everybody. And remember that. Now, this segment is about through. We're going to come back with a little brief music. I'm going to do this now because the music makes a difference to me. That difference is, this is one of our artists, Gino Lexus. You'll be hearing him all through this show. Gino Lexus is one of those who stood up and said, I have more to give than just music. And we're doing something special just to begin to let you know the name, Soundcheck Studios. The name, Soundcheck Studios, helps with Gino Lexus, and we salute them in a big way. Play a little bit more for Gino Lexus, and then we'll play him again at the end. I'll be right back. All right, this is Keith, the boss of the beach. And I became boss when I joined the boss group many years ago in Miami, and I'm still making sure that we take care of the boss name. Keith, the boss of the beach, and this is Voice for Veterans. And of course, we believe in media gets first potential to do everything. Both lives matter, all lives matter, black lives matter, and both conservative and liberals matter. Today, Michael the Black Man, straight out of Miami, Boss Entertainment Group. Wishing everybody happy 4th of July. Michael, say hello to the audience. Hey, how you doing? How's everybody doing out there? Boy, they're doing good, Michael. I was just down there in Miami, and I heard their building crash down there today. I'm glad it wasn't one of yours. No, sir, it wasn't one of our buildings. I'm sad that happened. We're, yeah, we're gonna we all are. It. And then they see what try to figure out what went on. It's, it's crazy. Uh, yes, yeah, crazy. To, to everybody, happy Fourth of July! It's coming up, and um, we're going to be doing a big event down here in Miami uh, at, at my jet ski party at One Fifty Twenty South River Drive in Florida. Everybody's invited. You know, we got free jet skis. Uh, I got 11 of them, but it'd be about 30 to 40 jet skis out there in the water. They will come to get to ride jet skis for free. Um, we got we got barbecue. We got all kind of uh, vendors that are going to be there. And we got free food and free drinks. And and it's going to be crazy. We're going to have a ball. And we're going to have live entertainment from stars like Spot 'em, Got 'em, uh, Jay Shin. The Temptations, the Supremes, the Platters, the Marvelettes. We got a uh, Hot Boy, a whole bunch of stars. Piccolo, it's going to be ex- absolutely insane. Woo! Free. And we uh, do this big charity event. And we well, I know you all have always supported the veteran. Yes, and sir. You always sir. give something back. Yes, and I, man, I cannot, man, you got all the stars. That's old school at its best. Yes, sir. And we got the we got the, the greatest that are gonna come down here. It's a big preamble to the big event we're doing in November at Mar Lago with all of the big stars, Little Wayne and 
spot him, got him. Temptations, the Supreme, the Plans, the Marvel, Let's the OJs. Um, you know, Dexter Tucker, Chris Tucker's brother. Got some comedy down there. We're going to have some uh, big rap stars, Flo Rida, all of them is going to be there. That's another event. But that's in November. That's at Mar a Lago at President Donald Trump's house. So we're going to be doing that in November. So y'all, you'll be hearing about that. It's going to be a big commercial all over Florida. Okay. Make sure you get it to us right away. Oh, so yes, we can sir. let everybody know. And if you have any flyers, a standard flyer that you use for your jet ski party, if you do that, send it to us. We'll put it on our events page and make sure they're all know. Now, I know that you have your radio show, and we want to carry that. We oh, want to yes, put it on our network, man. Tell okay. us when you're on the air now. Right now, we're on 88.7 FM in Miami, Dave, Broward, and West Palm Beach. And uh, it comes on at 5 o'clock in the daytime. Then it comes on, you know, that's 5 to 6. And then it comes on from 11 p.m. at night to 12 uh, midnight. Then we have it on 3 o'clock in the morning till 4 o'clock. And then 8 till 9 a.m. in the morning. The Michael the Black wow. Man. The rough show. Now, you got to be a man to listen to that because I'm telling the truth. Raw. It's Michael the Black Man. Well, you got all of the veterans help. You know, we what the whole fight is about truth. Okay. Yes, That's what the fight is about. Yes, the sir. old lie tactics are gone. The cover's been pulled off. And now you have a platform where you can tell the whole truth. And we're with you on that. I hope Carlos is Carlos there? I'm here. I'm here, buddy. What's going on? All right. I got Carlos on with Michael the Black Man. I got it all now. We're wishing everybody happy 4th of July. Yeah, I forgot to talk about the Latin side of the event. We're going to have the Mambo King there. That's Carlos. And we're going to have Tito Puente Jr. We're going to have Macho Camacho Jr. Woo! Yeah. And we're going to have, you know, a whole bunch of um, Latin stars going to perform at the event, too. So it's going to be, it's going to be with the, it's going to be big. We have Latin, black, and white stars there, you know, so. There you go. You heard it first here at WBET Online Radio, WBET Latin, which Carlos Cali has been more than happy as a veteran to stand up. And the Mambo Kings represent all of us now. We, we have to stand up and be grateful and thankful to Carlos. Carlos, tell us a little bit about what you're doing to help support what Michael has it's been doing for years. You joined the clan with the band. So tell me a little bit about you. Absolutely, absolutely. I met Michael and I was impressed what he's doing for the community. And most of all, free to charge. He uh, opens up his home and uh, allows uh, the locals from the neighborhood and every other every other person who, who can enjoy some of the, the great things in life, like uh, riding a jet ski and stuff like that. It's expensive. Uh, he's, he's able to provide uh, the community with that, open the board for him. It's easy. I mean, he, helps, he helps him a lot. So when I saw he was part of that movement, and uh, I like what he was doing, and he just uh, he just touched me in a way that he I wanted to be part of the movement, you know, the unite the the whole the whole the whole the united thing, you know, black Latin, black and white, you know, we must unite, and that's what struck me. And then when I saw he was doing, he's a little extravagant, as we know, but he's my bro, and you know, and I'm, I'm backing him up wherever he does, and and we there to support him. Um, veteran sidekicks is part of it. Uh, we also WVT Radio Latin. I appreciate you guys for your support and we're supporting each other and hopefully we'll be opening up some doors and get some some more funding and some good stuff for upcoming events. Um, I'm excited to be working with, with the staff there. Everybody over there makes me feel at home at uh, Boss Entertainment, Boss Mansion. Those guys are my family. And we're here to serve. We're here to serve the community. We're just a, a whole big team now. Man, thank you so much for that, because people in the Miami area, of course, have always known Michael's commitment to the Miami area. <clears throat> now that we're broadcasting this thing across the country, we want people to know that if you come into Miami, that you can come find the parties, you can come find the understanding, you can come find a lot of more information that really does devote its time to a little bit more conservative look. And most of the people who come, maybe coming from Atlanta or some other place that come down, they become awakened that this thing is bigger than just what you see at home. It's a national campaign. 
and the conservative views that come out. Michael, we should, now when is your next event? Where are you going to be on the 4th? Are you going to be there or are you going to be up in uh, some other part of Florida? No, we're going to be at 1520 South River Drive, Miami, Florida. I forgot to mention that we don't have, we have uh, paddle boats out there. We have uh, canoes. We have, uh, you know, water slides, all kind of games, tennis. We've got a full court basketball court in the backyard. Um, it's, a, it's two and a half acres on the water with beach sand. We got volleyball out there. We have about three to four DJs, one on the pool, one inside the house, one on a big stage where we do the live performances at. We got the miniature, go the stage is on a miniature golf course with a volleyball net behind it. And then we have another a badminton net on the side with a park, right, where the, where the basketball court is and the backyard, the beach sand with the canoes and all of the boats and and we have our little yacht back there and, and boat rides. It's a lot, you know, people get to ride on the boats and everything. It's like it's like Disney World. You go inside the house, you got the pool table, you got 11 TVs in there so you can watch all of the sports and games on the same day. And, uh, you know, it's just it's a big party atmosphere with Pac-Man games on the inside and table tennis or what they call it, ping pong. Ice hockey, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but that's, you know, people have to understand that there is one city on the planet that engulfs entertainment, and that's Miami. LA does it too. You go to Los Angeles, there's entertainment everywhere. But Miami has the same thing, and you represent that area, and it's always good because you've all, I remember Big Man, who used to be with you. He was a veteran, always treated me with respect. And I yes, think sir. about him every time. You you took care of veterans. A lot of people don't know how many people you've actually taken care of. That man didn't have anything left in life. He was a heck of a musician. He needed a family, and you gave him a family. So I know your respect for veterans. No one has to tell me, but I want more people to know. If you go to Miami, find out where Michael the Black Man is having a party, and come enjoy yourself. And teach him a little bit about that word party. I got the information. I know <laughs> but a lot <laughs> people think party is just party, but party has a lot more to do with a party than people know. Give them the education. Psalm, Psalm, Psalms nine and one says, "Thus saith the Lord, I created you to rejoice and party with me for my good work." So you know that's what the party is designed. <laughs> it's, nah, it comes. Uh, it comes out of the word. And Yahweh Ben Yahweh is the one that taught me this. And this is why I'm pushing to bring Latin, black, and white who must unite together. You understand? Because the Bible says if we fight this time, he's going to kill everybody by fire and not water. That's 2 Peter 3, 6. I don't have any intention of dying. The best way to bring us together is to party together and have a ball. That's, what That's we right. So all, all my brothers who are part of balls, they bring all their Rolls Royces out there, their uh, Lamborghinis, all of the nice cars, everybody takes pictures. We have the video tape. Then we put it on TV on channel 11.4. And it goes from 11 at night to 12 midnight. Every night of the week, the, the TV show shows that one jet ski party. So that's why when you get there, you see all of the cameras around because they film it and put it everywhere. So that this, this is a campaign of love. And that's why we... We're, we're, we're conservatives. We're showing that because they're not racist. That's what we're doing. We're having a we're having a ball, just just showing the truth and and appreciating the police and everybody. So you know, because yeah, Trump respect was, him he Say to us, Black Lives Matter, because he looked at me and said, "Hey, you guys, you black brothers, you 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 matter to me. So listen, give me a chance." I'm going to make things better. He said, what do you have to lose? Now, he was talking directly to me when he said that. Yes, so sir. He tried to steal his narrative. He created the narrative. Then he proved that he cared about the black man. And so I'm like, I'm looking at people crazy trying to say that, you know, black lives matter, but it's as if it didn't matter to him. But he was the first one to ever talk to anybody black. I mean, anybody, anybody, he was the first guy that was running for president or who is the president 
to ever actually address us. We walked in with those signs, Blacks for Trump, and there he, he said, Blacks for Trump. He said, you guys matter to me. That's the first Black Lives Matter is right there. <laughs> right. That's right. Well, but people don't know that. Michael, okay. people just didn't know that. A lot of people were ignorant. Right. But we want to educate them now. I got that on video. He said, give me a chance. Give me a chance. I'm going to fix it. And he and he commenced to fixing it when he got in just before they cheated on him. He said he, said he gave five hundred billion dollars. That's like they talking about reparations. That's about there's only sixty something million black people in America. If they gave every black man in America two million dollars, which is what Abraham Lincoln was giving when he gave the forty acres and a mule, Trump. That's the value. You're right. Given at least 30 times more to every black person in America than uh, Abraham Lincoln. So there's your, your there's your reparations if you want to talk about some reparations. <laughs> That's money. <laughs> I don't want to hear about no other stuff. You know, I don't food stamp. No, no money. Give me my money. That's what that's what that's what Trump was doing. So I'm looking at people about as cross-eyed as a black man can look at you, you know, so, and I'm I'm the one that's not afraid to tell the truth, and that's the truth, okay? That's the truth. Michael, I sure am glad to hear you say it. I've been saying it a long time. Many years ago, when I was in Miami, there was a man running for president, and somebody told me that you're going to make more money with him if you do, and I fooled around there and voted for him, got him in. We campaigned for everybody because we were on radio. But never knew that you were going to make money, that, that black people were going to make money with uh, George Bush Jr. Right. I call him Jr. because Daddy Bush was still the daddy. And we were able to move an economic thing through the Republican Party at that time. So there goes one half of it. Y'all know the truth now. This is Michael the Black Man. And of course, Carlos Cali, the real Mambo King, broadcasting Mom right here. At WVET, and this is Voice for Veterans. Stay tuned for more, and we thank you for calling in. And we're going to do that, Michael. We will be putting your radio show on on rotation, and yep. our engineer is listening right now. And when we get off, we'll call you back and talk about the times, and he'll get the link. And we'll start at the Fourth of July weekend airing your program as well. Okay. Fair enough. Yes, sir. All right. And thank you, guys. Jesse, remember, the Jesse party is every Sunday. Got it. Okay. It's going to be extra big, but you know, every Sunday we do the same thing. Well, at three o'clock on Sundays, we got a new partner, and you'll be talking to him. He's out of Seattle, Washington, and also has an office in Miami, and they do drums across the world. They have different drummers from 38 different countries who all come together at three o'clock and play on Sundays. So I'm going to plug you in with him, and I told him we got some drummers down there. He said there's some drummers in, um, Fort Lauderdale, so we're going to add that to your shows on Sunday. Have a few drummers okay. come out there and just play us. That's fair enough? Yeah, because we have the live band out there with Clive McFadden Jr. So, you know, we have live band and the DJs on oh. the stage. We'll open mic. If you if you think you can yes. sing, come out and sing so you can be shown on TV. And we have a live band for people who, who can sing. And, but the live band brings in all the stars, like, we have the Supremes and the Marvelettes and the Temptations back there, and they're back there almost every Sunday, and they just sing Perfect. a song to the live bands. I forgot to mention the fact that we got a live band. Mom, we got Mambo. He be back there with his piano, and he, and he, and you know, he, he sings and he does the the Mambo. In fact, there we he go. Is the Mambo King. <laughs> the he is King. the Mambo King. That's him. And a lot of other Latin music too. A lot yeah. of them. Thank you, Carlos. Well, Carlos was one took care of me hey, when I got down. There. Carlos brought so many Latin stars and boxing champs back here. It don't make no damn sense. Like, <laughs> you see, Carlos, approximately everybody, especially I in the land. You, <laughs> Carlos, we're gonna be looking for you in August. We don't want to hit. We're gonna be looking for you in August. We're gonna come broadcast live match. right there. It's gonna be a big boxing match. Carlos is bringing Macho Camacho Jr., uh, Sugar Ray Leonard Jr., I think, and a bunch of boxing stars, and we're going to have a boxing ring, a real boxing ring in the backyard with 
with all of the uh, tables, and, not tables, yeah, to go with features back there. And that's gonna be on TV. He, that's that's Carlos' event with me, me and him doing that together. You understand? Okay. Right at one fifty twenty South River Drive. Use that, Carlos, to make sure everybody know that me and you doing it together. So there, there it is. There, there's the, the real commercial. <laughs> A real commercial. There we go. We cut that up and start playing it. Together, we stand and we fight. It's Carlos yeah, Cali, gonna, Michael the Black Carlos, Man. Carl, Carlos, remember, today I'm going to give you the video showing all the stars saying they're going to perform at Mar-a-Lago. And uh, so Macho Camacho can see that. But he's gonna love that. So you get that. You get that day. I just finally finished it. It was crazy to put that together. You give him the all right doctorate degree. Keith is gonna help me give President Trump a doctorate degree from a Haitian college that wipes out yep. him being a, a racist from the Haitians. So <laughs> that, that's, that's that's gonna happen at Mar-a-Lago. Where well, we gonna give give President Trump that. And Melania Trump and Kimberly Guilfoyle and Laura Trump and and Miss Betty Wright, our sister who has passed, and yes. Sister Supremes and the Marvelettes, they're gonna get the, the Virtuous Woman Award at that event. It's gonna be a whole That's bunch of other wonderful women that are great that are gonna get the, that virtuous woman award too. But those are the ones that I'm naming. Kimberly Guilfoyle, okay. Donald Trump Jr.'s um uh, soon to be wife, she is going to be one of the hosts at our event at Mar-a-Lago. The hostess. Fantastic. Now you know that we got some guests coming for the Mar-a-Lago event as well. Stay tuned for more. And I'm going to say goodbye to everybody for this week and more to come. Thanks a lot, Michael, and thanks a lot, Carlos. Bye-bye. You got it, buddy. God bless. Oh, yes, indeed. Of course, this is one of the greatest weeks we're getting ready to get out of here. Don't forget, stay tuned to 96.7 FM if you're in the St. Petersburg area all day long. And tune in to Voice for Vets Saturdays morning and Thursdays, 1230 p.m. in the afternoon. Over and out, nothing but a shout. Don't forget, yeah. this is Soundcheck Studios artist, Gino Lex. For the show, there's nothing Go to soul, trying not to stress, bills look for a lot more from Gino. This is Golden Soul. Through my face mask in the basket, seems the whole world wants to see me in the casket before I blast it. It's got some limit and I pass it. Time to go up to God, guess I take my chances. Hey, they ain't trying to take all that. They try to bully you until you grab a baseball bat. They say, gee. Won't you take all back? You probably lose half of your fans if you stay all facts. I say to those cats, rather pick a side than stay in between. You don't agree, cool, but don't try to intervene. And keep your distance six feet if you need to. With disclaimer, you take a chance when I greet you a street. Just so you know, I will never change no matter how cold. Just so you know, I will never change no matter how low. Just so you know, I will never change no matter how low. Seven, WBET online radio.com.